Good morning! Today is Thursday, April 15th, and today we're going on a very long weekend expedition. So we're flying into Las Vegas and then going to Zion National Park, Antelope Canyon, and Grand Canyon National Park, topping it off with one night at the Bellagio and then coming back to San Francisco on Sunday before work again on Monday. So we have these few days we were originally going to do Yellowstone, but then that fell through because of the snow there. So we pivoted to this plan instead. Pretty excited. Um, it is very early. I feel like I did not sleep too much because I was just like too nervous that we would miss our flight. But we're going to head to the airport soon. Um, it's our flight's at 9 o'clock. It's about 6.30 right now. Currently at Lark Creek Grill. Here's my bagel combo. Some egg situation. Sitting here before our flight. We also have a live lecture and free movies and TV shows on your personal device. First thing you see in Vegas, slot machines everywhere. Welcome to Las Vegas. Finally, a rental car shuttle has arrived. For a rental car from Virginia, it says, Virginia is for lovers. So I guess that's perfect for us. Now we have to begin our trek to Zion. I think it's like three hours from here. It took a long time. First of all, our flight was delayed. And then coming to the rental car area, we had to take a shuttle and finally got our car. Um, it's a nice sedan. So yeah, I'm gonna load it up and then continue driving. Bye. So we finally found where the trail is supposed to start. So we're currently walking there to do the two hour Pa Russ trail. Uh, should be not too strenuous since we are both a little, a little tired. But yeah, look how nice the park is. All the yummy brown water featuring these views. This cutie over there. Where's it? Oh. Okay. Pizza Hut for dinner. Yum! Time to feast with this view and the mountains at the back. Currently trying to find our Airbnb and look how big these houses are. I think that's ours, like right there, it's small, skinny, small. Either that one or it's on the left. No, not these. This, this one. is the gravel that we have to park on. Oh, here, right? This is the gravel. No, there's gravel here as well. I think it's actually this one. Oh, this one is our Airbnb here. Yeah. Here's a quick tour of my Airbnb and Hurricane. So you walk up the stairs after unlocking this door. This door leads to the family's actual house. So we go up this way. And honestly, this place was pretty cheap um, for a nightly basis. This is the room. There's like a small kitchen with like a fridge, a microwave, coffee machine, full bathroom, washer and dryer with cleaning supplies. And the best part, is this view it's so unreal you can see the sunset over there the houses here are just so crazy the snow-capped mountains over there and yeah we finished our dinner at pizza hut we're gonna go to this like other more artisan like pizza oven restaurant local place, local place but the wait time was an hour and a half and we were already so hungry by then so we just went to pizza hut which is the basic choice, but it hit the spot for now. Um, so now we're at our Airbnb, gonna relax a little bit, maybe go out again for some Dairy Queen or something else. Um, but yeah, first day was nice. Zion was really nice. What did you think of Zion? Super beautiful. I, I think we just did like the normal trip, like the, the most basic trail. Paris. Because we didn't have that much time. We got there at like what, 4.30? Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was still really fun. Yeah, we love national parks. It's like our favorite thing to do. We got the parks pass for the new year. Here it is. Uh, so we're gonna visit all the national parks this year. But yeah, that was a, um, an end for day one. So see you guys tomorrow. Good morning. Today we woke up in Hurricane, Utah. Um, it's so beautiful still. Like I just can't get over like 
how nice the views are with the mountains over there. But yeah, we woke up around seven ish and now it's 8 20 and we're gonna head out soon. It's always so tough on vacation because like you want to rest obviously, but there's so much you want to get done as well. So just trying to find the happy medium. Um, we're gonna go back into Zion National Park today, do one or two small hikes and then carry on to Antelope Canyon. But yeah, it was so peaceful last night, so quiet here. The owners of this um, Airbnb have like sheep in the back or goats. So they were like making all their noises in the morning. Um, but yeah, we just got ready for the day. It's kind of cold, which is why I'm like dressed like winter. Early morning slice, fueling up before we go on our shuttle tour. How does it taste? I think you should have one. Maybe I shall have one. A waterfall with the rainbow reminds us of lower Yosemite Falls. And now we're going to start the river sidewalk at the Temple of Sinawaba. So there's like six deer in this frame. Can anybody spot all six? Pause the video here and try to spot them all. And so far on this trip, we've only done like paved walks, which I guess is kind of cheating, but we really enjoy them. And plus we don't have that much time in each one. So it makes the most sense to just do something that's like easy like this, but the views are still really, really nice. So these are the narrows, what we were originally planning to hike, but the water is currently a thousand cubic feet per second compared to it's supposed to be 150 cubic feet per second. So as you can see, there is no way we would be able to hike this because you have to go upstream that way. And the water is like eight times more than what it should be. I explained that, yeah. And it's probably so cold. Like we're already cold here, so I'm really glad that we didn't end up doing that. <laughs> Waterfall. Kind of crazy that this is much water because, like, oh, this is like a hot and humid place, but it's coming from somewhere. No, it's the feeling. Glaciers over here. It's the glaciers. It's the, it's the ice and snow from the winter that's melting now. Again, that's your lesson in geography. Geography. Okay, take this a is the water here. And nice sun there. Yeah, we finished that hike really quickly, so now we're gonna head back. Currently in the Zion shuttle. Cottonwood tree. It is the oldest tree in Zion. Back in Arizona, boys and girls. Grand Canyon State. It's currently 3.03, but it's supposed to be 2.03. So the time zone should be changing soon because our reservation for Antelope Canyon is at 2.30, but technically it's 3 o'clock in our clock. So hopefully the time zone changes. We weren't just doing some miscalculations because then we would miss this reservation that we paid for. So, fingers crossed! We're just waiting to get on the shuttle and finally wear our matching jackets. Um, yeah, really excited for you to tell Kenny. That was like one of the highlights of our trip. So, if you guys actually take a look. Mm -hmm. wow. We're at Antelope Canyon. It's... Oh, oh, sorry. Here's the view. Honestly, just so unreal. And like the lighting is really nice here too. I feel like we both look really like nice. And yeah, the tour group's over there, but we just ran ahead. Going? So we just finished up at Antelope Canyon. What did you think of the tour? I thought it was great. The tour out was really nice. Um, everything was mostly on time. We made it on time, so that's amazing. Because we thought with the time zone, it was a long way your claws, but like some parts have the other settings, some don't.
was luckily open. Luckily open, he got through and just stopped at a random point here. To look at the view and then we're gonna eat dinner, but just like, look how crazy it is. There's like snow over there somewhere. Oh, it's just so beautiful, but it's very windy, so we're gonna eat back inside the car. <laughs> Rise and shine. It is, we are in the middle of a desert. Literally, this is our little home over here. A small little tent with, you can see the stars because the top was clear, but it is freezing cold it's like minus two right now feels like minus six we didn't even brush our teeth last night because there was no running water um sunrise is happening over there it looks very beautiful but um oh the moon is also over there but we did not brush our teeth last night it is so cold um going to the little bathroom hut over there with my little pouch hopefully there is running water so we can brush our teeth at least wash my face and then we're gonna get going this is our little area. Finding it last night in the pitch black was honestly something else. I thought I would be like not gonna find it, but um, here we are. Gonna hopefully there's running water, then we're gonna brush and get out of here because because we're so cold. So, so quick little room tour. This is the door you come into. You can literally see the outside. So that's why there's a minus six air in here. Um, the selling point is definitely the top. This whole plexiglass area. Like last night, the stars were really really nice. Um, there is a heater, but it is a literal fire heater. So there is a carbon monoxide alarm here. So of course we did not turn that on because we don't want to die. Um, super small bed. It was at least very warm. So we were like in the middle, cuddled up because it was again, very cold. Um, they have these small little viewpoints where you can see the outsides. Um, it's a cute place. I feel like it would have definitely been better if it was just warmer or we were better equipped for this type of arrangement, but yeah we there's no running water as i went to go check because it's below freezing so we're just gonna go to starbucks drink water there brush our teeth there and yeah hope for the best, hope for the best boys and girls so yeah basically this was the view of the place there's like some chairs there and so funny because the host was like oh yeah i left you some wood feel free to make a fire and me and me they're like bro like, we don't even know how to do any of that um, if I sound delirious because I'm also very tired. But yeah, this is the cute place. This is how it looks. It's actually like really nice. Like look how cute that is. Um, but again, it's just like we just really weren't prepared for the weather, how cold it was gonna be, uh, how cold we would be. Like my hands are struggling to close this right now. Um, me it's just heating up the car. And then we're gonna get going. These dirt roads were what we had to go through last night, but in the dark, and they were like 10 times higher. So, but now Google seems to know the proper route somehow, so great for us, but she wasn't there for us when it mattered. So we went inside the Starbucks over there, got our matchas, and now we are, we managed to brush inside, which was a huge plus. Now we're applying our sunscreen in the car. Honestly, I used to feel embarrassed to do things like this, like do my personal stuff in public places, but you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. And like, there wasn't running water there, so like, what were we gonna do? This was the next best option so this is a reminder to just do things for yourself without worrying about what people think because that used to be something i struggled with but yeah now since we got our starbucks since we got some water we're on our way to the grand canyon visitor center now 7:24 in the morning so definitely a much earlier start than usual currently at mather point kind of unreal view of course me always has to be the one that's like on these surfaces taking pictures but it's so yeah, I'm taking that now. Unreal views. The fact that it's like so flat here so flat. is kind of weird because it's like just clear cut. I wonder how low that is because it's like the deepest point. The deepest point's there, yeah. Hello. You can kind of see water there, like dark. Is that water? Uh, like right after the shadow in the, in the under the gorge. Yeah. I don't know. So we finished at the Mather Point overlook area and now we're walking on the rim trail so first Wait. impressions first impressions is like it's just wow like views are unreal yeah, so we're just walking like along the rim yeah it almost looks like a simulation um, all the gorges like how deep it is yeah. how high we are crazy um the way the sun is reflecting off of it and creating all these like different you know visual, shadows visual, and stuff yeah visual visuals literally visual visuals um so yeah, we're gonna walk on this rim trail 45 minutes one way, 45 minutes back, because we're gonna go see a movie about the Grand Canyon in the IMAX theater. 
So we just bought tickets for that. Uh, pro tip, if you're going to go, make sure you buy the tickets online because they were 50% off. 20%. You, 20% off, sorry, before you get there. Um, but a discount is a discount. Hey, you can't complain about the percentage. Um, so yeah, now we're continuing to walk here. Look at that moose reindeer deer thing. Kind of crazy. Another viewpoint along the rim trail. We're like 23 minutes in, I would say. So far we saw like a elk. Elk, somebody was saying. Um, a bunch of California condors. A bunch of California condors. This is like so peaceful. It's crazy because we're at the top. Normally we're at the bottom of the areas. Now we're at the top walking here. Now we're eating our subways that we bought yesterday. Still tastes great a day later. With the last few moments at the Grand Canyon. And then we'll go finish up and watch that IMAX movie we were talking about and then head over to Vegas. Eeps. So we just finished the IMAX movie. It was called Grand Canyon River of Time. And it was actually really informative showing both the geological history but also the history of like wrapped in foil, which was then wrapped in a plastic bag. We gotta save money on some food options. So our windshield is already disgusting with all these like, random bugs, but like a bird literally just right here, that yellow streak. Canyon already heading back to the parking lot. Grand oh. Canyon. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Short visit to Hoover now. Already heading back to the car. It was a little too hot for our liking, and we just want to get to our hotel and just check in and enjoy that. So it was a nice visit. It was only 10 bucks for parking. It was a so nice, uh, break from the car sitting around. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we were on the way, so why not? Crazy how they build this, though. But yeah, time to go back. Solar farm. That's what's gonna happen. 10 minutes in the in and out drive through for some animal style fries with three packets of spread. Just parked our car on the top floor. Now we're gonna go check in. Already crazy views. It's Cosmo. It's the Michael Tower situation going on over there. Getting into the Bellagio. I think we have to walk through the whole casino to get to the check in desk, so it's gonna be a little wild. Busy florals. We're waiting in line for the check in here. Already, that looks so amazing. Walking through the casino to get to our elevators. Got our bag here. My first thoughts. What are your first thoughts? Very smoky, very crazy, too many people. After yeah. coming from all the national parks, is like kind of crazy for me. Yeah, it's a little too much for us right now. So we're going to our room. Like we're on the 14th floor. So that's exciting. It's just such a different vibe. Like people are smoking while they're gambling. <laughs> It's just too much. Like we just came from a national park. We are not ready. You are breathing some crazy clean ass air. Yeah, so it's all gonna balance out, I guess. I mean, hopefully we, we had two days there and one day here, so uh, hopefully we still have some net positive here. It's just crazy. I think we're both just gonna be shook at seeing everyone and how they live their lives here. Room tour. Let's see the bathroom. Wow, shower. Okay, I can't wait to shower because you guys know we haven't showered in like two days. Double sink, <laughs> toilet. A mirror. A mirror. Um, a bed. Wow, honestly, very, very bougie. A TV. TV. We didn't even have internet in our tent last night. And oh my god, look at the view. Decent view or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see the pool and everything. Wow. 
Not bad. Wow, amazing view. And we actually got some decent like mountains in the back too. Yo, honestly, this is the best view. And we can see our car probably too from here. Yo, we actually can. That's <laughs> hilarious. So the plan is to shower since we have not showered in a few days and then get ready and go for dinner. Walk around the strip. Yeah, we'll show you guys along. So at check-in, the guy was telling us that this whole area is pressure sensitized. So even if you touch something, it'll charge you for it. So like he said, the bottle of water is $24 each. We finally showered and feel all clean. So now. much better. So much better. And now we're going to brave the downstairs chaos again to go get dinner, go see the Bellagio Fountain Show, and also see the flower gardens. Wish us luck. And then walk the strip. And then walk the strip, of course. Cannot forget that so one. So four things. Four things in like three hours, three, four hours. Doable. Doable. Considering how much we've done already. Yeah, yeah, doable, doable. Honestly, madness. Everyone's dressed so nice for all their fancy dinners, and then there's us wearing like hood clothes. It's honestly like unreal. We're trying to get across the street to go to dinner, but apparently we have to go in this whole mall, go up the escalator to get this platform to go across on top of the roads. So let's see how long it takes us to get for a nine minute walk to dinner. Still trying to find the ramen spot, but hopefully we're close now. We have finally found it. Got our vegetable yeah. spicy ramen. We both got the same thing, so neither of us have FOMO. Currently at the strip, the Arc de Triomphe is also here. So no need to go. This is Vegas traffic. Literally so busy. There's a restaurant in there. That's super cool. It's super cool. Currently in the Bellagio Flower Gardens. These are all real, Boba. It smells so nice. It smells so nice in here. Flower boat with koi fish. These all smell so nice, and that's definitely like our favorite part because like it smells like smoke and other disgusting things here. So this is definitely the reprieve. For Bellagio. Now we'll go check out the casino. Yay! This literally looks like a kids like museum. Like everything is so colorful. And those are like the intense games over there. But this is like the no stress. Gamble till you lose all your some life savings. Some of them were black text, some of them were Yeah, yeah, yeah. More down there in case you thought that was already a lot. <laughs> the best part of the day is coming in, us, in the elevator area where there's nobody else here except us. <laughs> and there is somehow always an elevator here, which is kind of crazy. The funny thing is, it's not even called ground floor, it's casino floor. See. Wild. Wild. This is what we paid like oh, whatever hundreds of dollars for. Automatic blackout curtains. Thank you. Thank you. So our one and only day in Vegas is done. It's 9 p.m. We're gonna get ready to go to sleep because we have to wake up at four tomorrow because our flight's at six. 3.30. 3.30. Yeah, Vegas was definitely interesting. It's not our vibe at all. It's just a little too much. I, I feel like it's not how I would want to spend any of my time at these casinos or on the strip or anything like that. But interesting to see. Good first uh, and only experience here. Good morning. We fortunately did not have to wake up at 3 o'clock and actually get to the airport because our flight was delayed. I think like, that's the only time I'm actually happy our flight was delayed because waking up at 3, it just would have been rough. We would have been tired for the whole day. So yeah, we checked at 3 o'clock. The flight was delayed. We went back to sleep woke up and it was delayed a bit more so it's now six o'clock ish the flight is at 10 10 so we still have a lot of time um just shower get ready and go to the airport but yeah last night it was actually pretty loud um on the strip i feel like you can hear everyone slamming their doors um you can hear people screaming outside so we had white noise going um vegas is definitely interesting i feel like it kind of brings out the worst sides of people like people gambling you could just see in their eyes like they were just dead looking especially the ones at the slot machines like they were just there's like no emotion in their eyes and i feel like you know, people are smoking inside the casino people are drinking um maybe doing drugs like it just felt like it brings out the worst in people and like i hate to see that like that's definitely not a life i like to advocate so it was interesting, but I don't think I would be back willingly unless we are going to another national park, in which case we'd probably stay like in an Airbnb around Las Vegas, but not on the strip itself. But you know, like all experiences in life, this is a learning opportunity. Um, 
and we made the most of it we still ate ramen which we love we saw the fountain show we saw the flowers which were my favorite parts um it's just learning to make the most of it no matter what situation you're in so yeah meets showering right now gonna go shower get ready and then head to the airport and first we have to drop off our rental car but then head to the airport <laughs> We're at the flower gardens and there's no lineup right now. Heading home now to the airport to drop off the car. The last few moments on the strip. Getting the rental shuttle. Our breakfast at the lounge. Got some bagels, yogurt, some blueberries, potatoes, green tea. Yeah, the best part about these lounges is definitely the food. Lounge. Just finished up at the lounge. Priority pass is like actually so worth it. Um, you can get a lot of free things there, especially breakfast and water, which is like the main things for us. Now we're just heading to our D gates. We're finally on our way home after our three and a half hour delayed flight.